Today we're going to make some modifications to my Harbor Freight 20 ton press. This cross member has a couple of issues. I'm not sure the proper technical name of this component of the press, but if you put a square against it in relation with this cross member, this piece has been welded in a little bit crooked, so we'll need to fix that. Also, this plate that the jack mounts to has been welded in at a little angle as well. So we'll just start out by making a complete new cross member for this press. Then we'll finish up by installing a new 20 ton air jack. We'll be building this cross member out of a piece of scrap two by four tubing I have. This is one eighth inch wall. I also have this solid stock, which is an inch and five eighths that we'll be using. And here's our new 20 ton Harbor Freight Jack. Next, we'll use some scrap material I have to cut out some tabs to weld on the end of this tubing. We'll also need to cut out a top plate that the jack will mount to. And at the same time, we'll cut out a plate to go on the bottom with a hole in it for this inch and five eighths to fit through. So I've made some drawings in Fusion 360. So let's head over to the CNC plasma cutter and get those cut out. Okay, I've drilled a few holes in our new cross member, a couple of holes for our eye bolts, as well as a couple of holes for this new base plate for the jack. I wanted to make this base plate removable in case I ever have an issue with this jack and have to replace it. And if the footprint is different, I just wanna simply be able to replace it. Lastly, we will need to drill a hole in the center of this cross member for our inch and five eighths solid stock. I started buying these carbide tip hole saws on Amazon. They seem to be more accurate than the old style that I, I've kind of used over the years. These seem to break teeth off very easily and the hole always seems to be a little bit bigger than it should, at least that's my experience. So these carbide tip hole saws do a really good job. It's a clean cut and it seems to be much more accurate in my experience. I want to be able to punch through both sides at the same time. So if you notice, this whole saw has a little shoulder on here. So we're going to chuck this up in the lathe and turn down that shoulder so I can punch through both sides of this tubing in one shot. Since the scrap material I used to cut out the tabs is a quarter inch thick, I took the time to preheat it before welding. Since I'm trying to learn how to TIG weld, I figured this project would be good practice. This plate is quarter inch material, 
so I preheated it as well. I preheated the inch and 5 eighths round stock before tacking it in place. Since the forces applied to this round stock should be vertical into the bottom of the jack, I simply wanted to place four tack welds to keep it from dropping out. My idea is that should I ever damage the round stock, I can simply drill out the four tack welds and replace the piece of round stock. Lastly, I finished up the cross member with a few coats of clear paint.